So for the past week, I have been out rummaging as it is now springtime here and people are wanting to get rid of their stuff. So the first sale I went to was an indoor here in our small town and it had some great vintage antique pieces that I picked up. Sorry, I don't have any footage of that one. I did share some on my Instagram stories if you follow me over there. And then the next sales were a uh, citywide in our local big city. It was like a neighborhood wide sale, I guess. And I took my two girls. It was freezing cold that morning. So we were only out for about an hour and a half, but I did find some good things there too. So I'll share a little footage here first, and then I'll share my pretty large haul. Kind of fun. Lots of vintage old stuff. So I'm gonna do, I mainly got kitchenware, it's in home decor, and one clothing item. So I'm just gonna actually, or like attire. I got these Converse All-Star maroon shoes for $3. They are to sell. So they are in like mint condition. I got them out rummaging at the citywide sales. They are yeah, just in great condition. They're men's one half or women's six and a half. So I thought, why not try to resell those, make the money back of what I spent a little bit while out rummaging. So those were the only attire type things I have. So the rest are kitchenwares and home decor. At the one in my little town here, I found this old kettle for $3. It is kind of a blue tint with the speckles. I wasn't sure if I would actually keep it because it doesn't really match my decor um, or if I'll give it to a friend who loves the actual old farmhouse because she lives out on a country farm and um, so I'm not sure if I'll keep it or not but it's just in like mint condition it has just a little rust right there but isn't that just adorable for three dollars 
All right, at that same sale, I got this blue and cream bowl. I have one similar to it that I got in an, at an antique store for like $15 and this was five. So it has some markings on the bottom. I just am not 100% sure what it is. It has, it looks like the um, state of Texas on there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's really adorable. And I use these all the time for serving salads, for fruits, whatever mixing in it. So I couldn't pass that up for $5. Okay, so I only have like four of the 20 pieces of utensils that I got in a giant bag. Everything is $3 in that bag. And I used a lot of the items over at our little fixer upper cottage. Um, like so little spatulas, little um, ladles, tongs. Well, there were a lot of other things, spoons and a lot more tongs, like three or four sets of tongs. But for $3, I couldn't pass it up. Some brands are like the OXO brand. Some are the Farberware. Uh, some don't have a brand so I just thought why not get those for silver or utensil pieces that I need for a fixer upper and plus I would use some of these things as well so they they weren't super worn there's a little bit of wear on some of these but three dollars for a bag of 20 plus utensils I wasn't gonna pass that up also at that same indoor sale I got two baking sheets that are in pretty crisp um, pristine condition like I just cleaned up the like oil stains that were on it that had gotten crusted on a little bit. I needed a new one and one for our little fixer upper house. They were 50 cents a piece. So that was really affordable. I got a cake pan as well because mine was chipping away on the inside. So this was 50 cents as well. So I couldn't, couldn't pass that up. I got there early and it was so packed because they had so much kitchen stuff. So. Um, I, oh, and then I got a tea kettle from that sale as well that I used over at our fixer upper. It's silver. Not sure of the brand, but it was $2, I, two or three for that, um, for that as well. But I can't remember if it was two or three, but I already have it sitting over at our fixer upper on the stove. So I do think that was all for that indoor sale. Now to the outdoor rummages that I hit up. This little um, kettle was a dollar. I just thought it would work well for our fixer upper to have for our guest. It is a uh, Circulon black bottom. It's got a little wear, like I don't know if it's chipping off or not. If you can see that, it's got a little wear on the inside, but I think it'll be decent for people to do whatever they need to over there with that. This is my favorite find of all. I shared this on Instagram stories as well. These three, a size three, a size five, and a size six, real cast iron, $20 for all of these. So uh, I haven't checked the brands yet, but I really don't need them, but I um, got them. So this is the Wagner Wear Sydney. Uh, so these are like the vintage ones. I think uh, mother had passed away and they were having a sale of all her stuff. So this would be great for frying like two eggs in and they're really not like they're not rusty at all on the inside. So that is the Wagner brand. This size five, I have a size five. This says it's just eight inch scale on the bottom. I don't know. I don't know what brand it is, but I mean, they're legit heavy <laughs> cast iron. This size six, I don't have a six, I have a seven. Um, doesn't have a brand on it either, but I couldn't pass those up. Cast iron is so expensive, so 20 for all three, that was definitely a steal and I wasn't going to say no to that. Okay, I just found this kind of cute green, bluish, white towel for over at our fixer upper because it'll kind of match the decor over there and I actually have no towels for over the kitchen towels for over there right now. And that was, um, these are both 50 cents a piece because I got this cutting board at that same sale. It looks like it has a place for a knife, but I thought this would be fun just to decorate with. I love decorating with wood cutting boards. I did that in my fixer upper, our open shelving, and I also use them all the time. So I'll just oil it down, clean it off. It'll be fine to use. So 50 cents for both of those. 
Then this little step stool was $4. This will also go to our little fixer upper cottage just for people to have a place to set their feet or I don't have like a little side table by the couch yet. They could put their coffee on that too. They'd have to reach a little lower, but you know, I couldn't pass this up. It's super sturdy. I love the spindle legs. Nothing on the bottom, so maybe it was even handmade. I don't know, but nice little uh, footrest step stool there. All right, I also found a Graco pack and play that's gonna be used for our fixer up a cottage because it's gonna be an Airbnb and people can use a pack and play if they need it to while they're guests there. This is a blue um, pack and play and with the checkered patterned bottom in nice condition that I got that for $23. They had 30 on it, but I asked for 20. They said 25 and I said 23. So that's also another thing I love about rummaging is the haggling back and forth. So I want to say that might be it um, that I got a lot of, like I said, housewares, some decor. One thing I'm going to add to this haul, I'll insert some footage because you probably can't really tell what this is. This is an adorable little rocking chair for my daughters. It was at a rummage last year in our small town that I saw. And the lady came by the other day and asked if I still wanted it. So I think it was $10, but so cute little rocker here for my girls. I couldn't pass that up. And if she was willing to deliver it to my door and ask if I wanted it, she must've really been decluttering. So that is my collective haul of kind of vintage housewares items that I found. It is that season where I try to hit up the rummages as much as possible if if I can with my two girls and if the weather holds out so um, are you rummaging now are your towns having rummage sales I'd love to know have you found any great deals so let me know in the comments and let me know if you enjoy these just solely like thrift with me and rummage sale videos because I know I do a lot of like homemaking content and uh, and simple living and things like that but let me know if you like just the solely thrifting all right, hope you're having a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. And I will talk with you in the next video. Mm -hmm.